Hey everybody, Tom Marks from IGN here with our very own Jonathan Dornbush. Beyond. And hello. <laughs> so Jonathan, you got to play Concrete Genie. This yes. is a PlayStation 4 exclusive that's coming out. Uh, how much did you get to play and tell me what you thought? Uh, I played about an hour and a half of it. Uh, this game's been around since, I think it was announced in 2017, but this is the most hands-on I've had with the game. And we played through the first hour or so of the game and then got to play a little bit in the third act of the game. Uh, but the first hour that we played set up the story you're playing as this kid, Ash. He's a, he loves to sketch, he's a painter, he has put some graffiti around town, and he's being bullied, unfortunately. Uh, and the bullies rip out all the pages from his sketchbook. And then as he goes off to chase them, he stumbles upon the fact that some of these drawings are coming to life. And he gets a magical paintbrush that you as the player get to use to draw both these creatures that he's created, the genies, and as well as these painting backdrops. And that's kind of the main mechanic of this game, is painting on the walls, creating these paintings. What did you think of that? W was it easy? Did it make you feel like you were actually creating cool Thing. Yeah, so I'm terrible at drawing. I cannot draw a straight line to save my life. But in this game, you basically get a palette of different options of items you can draw, uh, which increases as you find more pages throughout the game. But you get to draw however you want to with those things. So if I want to draw a starry night, I can make those stars appear in whatever direction I want. But if I want to just maybe put a small sun over here, the sun's always going to look like a sun, mm -hmm. but I can make it really small and I can put a big one over here. I could put three on top of each other. So you have a lot of customization in what you put on the walls, but in terms of you have like a predetermined set that you choose from. Uh, then you can also create the genies themselves. The genies are like these helper companions. They kind of act like your pet. Uh, once you draw them and you can design, again, from like a preset of how they'll look, but you get to draw whether they're long guys, they're short little stubby guys, if they have a bunch of spikes, if they have three tails, however you want them to look, that'll also determine a bit of their personality, but they're always there to help you. They help you solve puzzles in the environment. Um, they'll help you bring more life back into the town, because essentially the goal of the game is, now that you have this magic, there's this weird dark thing taking over the town, you're trying to stop it and prevent it from overtaking the entirety of your hometown. And is it just mainly painting? or is there combat in this game? Like, how does that work? So through the first hour that we played, it was essentially just the painting mechanic with some light platforming and clear like collectibles in there. You're also trying to outrun your bullies. You can't interact with them, but if they spot you, it's sort of like a game over scenario sort of thing that you don't want to get caught in. Mm -hmm. um, but beyond that, we got to jump into the third act of the game, and that was where we played combat. And so there are these dark genies that start appearing late in the game, uh, and you have to stop them from terrorizing the town and wreaking havoc on all the life you've brought back into it. Mm -hmm. But the thing about the Dark Genie encounter was, I only did one, but it didn't really feel like a fight. It felt like I was trying to help this kind of like hurt wild animal. Like it, it was a danger to itself and to the environment. And I was more trying to like tame it and save it to protect both it and everyone around it. So it was, it was this odd feeling, but it worked pretty well. It was very smooth. You gained the ability to essentially skate on magical paint. Um, it's this like pretty great glide, gliding ability that you get uh, as you can run through town. You're essentially using different elemental attacks to take down shields or to whittle down the health of the Dark Genie. It's not too crazy or too complex, but it had a really, really like impactful moment for me that I was like, oh wow, no, I want this thing to be okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to like kill it. I'm trying to make sure it's safe and make sure my town is safe. It's not just hack and slash, beat him up, take him down. Sort yeah, of and, and even when it degrades into that and I was just spamming the attack button, it was like <laughs> the intent felt different, right. which was really unique. And just by the way they presented the battle and by the way you jump into it, it's like, oh no, by the way I've interacted with my genies, I want this genie to be okay. Gotcha. Uh, which I liked a lot, yeah. And so Concrete Genie did just get a release date. It's coming out October 8th? Yes, yeah, for $29.99, that'll be the full game. Uh, there's a included PSVR mode, which we've previewed on the site previously, uh, so you can go check my impressions of that out. But yeah, it's coming out. It's a really cool little thing from the Sony First Party Studios. You know, you're expecting Death Stranding, The Last of Us, and everything else. But there's this like nice, really positive, warm, sort of serene experience in there that I don't think uh, PS4 owners should miss uh, based on what I've played so far. Hey so. man, maybe Death Stranding is the most optimistic game. Of that's true. You don't know, know yet. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> <laughs> For more on Concrete Genie and other PlayStation exclusives, stay right here on IGN. What does IGN even mean anyway? It means whatever you want it to mean.